this week in collective worship we're listening to power ballads and there's nothing more powerful than meatloaf and this is his song i would do anything for love lit it reminds us what jesus said what did jesus say that's right i am the light of the world bit of stop motion animation fun there i love animation let's start our collective worship Good morning, everyone. This week, we're learning about inspirational people. There are and have been so many inspirational people. What we're going to look at is what we can learn from these people. It's a gift to be shared, to give homes to so many homeless people to give food to the hungry and clothes to the naked. support us in that task. the road, however grievous the cost, does we know that out of this time of trial and tribulation will be born a new freedom and glory for all mankind. 
it is complete independence that we want. the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. Truly inspirational people. But what can we learn from them? We all have people we look up to. You could call them our heroes. My grandpa is one of my heroes. And another one of my heroes is Walt Disney. Walt Disney grew up in a poor family. He was one of five kids, so to help out he began painting and selling pictures to neighbors and family friends. In search of a better life, they soon moved to Kansas City, where Disney fell in love with trains. So at the age of 14, he was working at a railroad selling snacks, candy and soda to the passengers. From that early age, he was not a stranger to hard work. Disney and his brother Roy woke up at 4.30 every morning to deliver newspapers before school, and after the school was over, they would do another round. This job was exhausting for the brothers. Walt Disney would often fall asleep in class, so he constantly received poor grades. But to support his family, he kept doing his job for more than six years. In high school, he took drawing and photography classes and became the cartoonist of the school newspaper. He even took courses at night. At the age of 16, he dropped out of school to join the US Army but was rejected because he wasn't old enough. Instead, he joined the Red Cross and was sent to France to drive an ambulance for a year. After he came back in Kansas City, he landed a job at an art studio, but he was fired. According to his boss, he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. He and his co-worker Ab Iwerks founded their own commercial company, but they failed to attract customers. So Disney and his brother Roy focused on creating cartoons and launched their own company called Laughogram, and their cartoons became very popular. But unfortunately, they did not provide enough income, so the company went bankrupt. With only $40 in his pocket, Walt Disney went to Hollywood. He tried to become an actor and failed at that too. So Disney convinced his brother to join him so they could start working again. And soon, with the creation of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Disney found his first big success. But sadly, that success didn't last long. Disney lost his legal rights to this popular character. But instead of feeling sorry for himself, Disney decided to start over. Disney and Up Iwerks created the animated character Mickey Mouse, and the cartoon became a huge success. Almost his entire life, Disney took a lot of risk with his money, investing them in projects to make them a big success. For example, he spent more than $2 million on Snow White, which became the first full-length animated movie. Everyone kept telling him that he was making a huge mistake, that he could lose all of his money. But he believed in his art and he was right. Snow White became a big success and he didn't stop there. Walt Disney began planning a massive theme park. He began planning the happiest place on earth and believe it or not, Disneyland was rejected more than 300 times. Very interesting facts. But what can we learn from Walt Disney? His imagination, his energy and powerful mindset will always be remembered. He showed us that just having big dreams is not always enough, unless you're persistent and you're working hard to bring your ideas to life. That's the key to overcoming every failure and obstacle that comes your way. The reality is, you will fail. We all fail. So dare to make mistakes. If you spend your whole life avoiding anything risky, you might avoid failure, yes, but you will also avoid success. Walt Disney grew up poor and was never afraid of hard work. He was fired, he went bankrupt, and failed over and over again. 
He was even rejected 300 times. But he never stopped. Walt Disney won 22 Oscars. So remember, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. This is echoed in Matthew 21, 22, a quote from the Bible. And this quote is displayed in our ICT suite. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. And as well as having faith, we must work hard, be persistent and resilient, just as we learned last week. Resilient to failure, because failure is just steps to success. Let's share a prayer together. If you'd like this prayer to be your prayer, it's armor at the end. You're welcome to look at the candle flame or you can put your hands and your eyes together if that helps you to reflect. Dear God, like so many inspirational people, help us to believe, work hard, be persistent and resilient. Amen. And we'll continue looking at inspirational people this week. Remember, work hard, be kind, look after yourselves, and I'll see you around school.